Man, y'all already know what time it is. The buzzer sound. It's the overtime. You know what I'm saying? Got a special guest here today. My homie Don. What's up, Don? Introduce yourself to the people. What's good, man? You know, it's Don Moore in the building. Straight coming out of Harlem, man. You know what I'm saying? Up and coming artists and everything. So, you know, I'm here with my man Dijon. And we, we don't get to these bars and we don't get to realizing who I am. Feel me? So, what's up, right. Dijon? So, Don, I mean, I know you make music. What inspired you to start making music? Um, you know what I'm saying? When I was little, uh, my mom used to tell me, mm. DMX was like one of my favorite rappers at the time. And I always used to just rap DMX songs. I remember one time I seen DMX van loaded joints, like girls on the block of Harlem. My pops like, yo, look at DMX. I got off the roof so fast. Started like, yo, yo, I just sung him. I think I told him, like, where, where my dog's at, son, or whatever. Hoo, hoo. That nigga was like, yeah, little hard, like, yeah, fact, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, from then, I just had a, a love, I had a love of music, and um, I just always like, like, I like to sing too, but I just can't sing. But with the love of music, I just always like to recite it. Music got me through a lot of tough times too, so just, um, it told me I'd do poetry, I'd do poetry for the girls and shit. I ain't know I was really gonna do music, music until like probably it was, it's gonna be two years ago now. So, what's your inspiration behind the music? Like, what inspires you? Um, right? the inspiration behind the music is more like you know what I'm saying. I see what music does for a lot of people. Like, I'm a psychology major too, right. and it's so music is one of them soothing things that it helps people through a lot of situations because it, it see it's, it shows a symbol of like resemblance, like uh, somebody actually might be thinking and going through the same things I do out there. So when I hear some of my artists and they talk in that talk, especially during the hip hop era that I grew up in, in the 90s, like, it's something that really got me thinking like, wow, uh, yeah, it's something I could really bang with and I could rock to that's gonna get me through the day and like put my mind in a whole different mode. Going through a song that I recently just heard uh, well, coming out, uh, a song with you and Big Gooch. How did that conspire? Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? Gooch, actually, he, he was rapping first because um, he's um, he with TakeOver, Ent TakeOver Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With him, um, my man Lito, and my man Sai. So, uh, I came about Gooch after, I think, he was giving out his mixtape one day on campus. And I was like, yo, man, I got bars. And Gooch was like, yo, come holler at me. He put you on TakeOver. So, I'm like, all right, cool. I was kind of halfway joking. But then that next year transpired with this girl kind of put this um, this fire in me that I could really do it. And I started as a songwriter and I was like, you know what? I can't depend on nobody else, so I'm gonna depend on myself. And I'm gonna make this song for me and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work for me. And um, I came to Gooch one time, I was in checking at campus. Gooch was like, yo, come holler at me. He was talking, he seen something I was going through. I was dealing with like a Def Jam rep at the time. And he was like, yo man, I'm gonna try to get you down with TakeOver. So from then, the journey just skyrocketed, you know what I'm saying? Gooch passionate about it, I'm passionate about it. And when we in there, Gooch like to do this thing, he like to make up songs on the spot. And I'll be like, come on fam, give me a second to write. Especially right now, we not making no super chicken, it's our studio time. It's ticking, you dig, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, look man, so when we, we, when we get in there though, me and Gooch definitely listen to each other. It's not like we argue in the studio, you feel me? But ideas gonna come here and there. Um, we, we just try to put it together. I remember me and him made a hook in like 15 minutes off of just going playing off each other off words. And that's one of the, um, the song is called Hundreds Now, too. If y'all ever go hear that. Like, that hook was made literally in like 15 minutes. And so the chemistry was dope. And we just like, yo, we gonna collab with each other. Label mates to the day we, we make it, you feel me? So That's hot, that's hot. So, uh, going back, you said the 90s. Uh, music inspires you at this moment. Being that, who are some of the artists that you are listening to now that still give you that 90s feel? All right, so, I mean, definitely Fab, Fab and Jada. Um, definitely give me that 90s feel still because they, they've been in the game for years, 20 plus, and they still doing the same thing, same bars, same substance. Um, the 90s feel, Dave East giving me that right now. Definitely Harlem, definitely a lot of bars coming through. Um, a different play, like if y'all know who Rhapsody is, I didn't know who she was at, at first neither. Um, female rapper, she's definitely killing it. I found out about her, I was listening to Charlamagne talk about her. I looked up, she's doing her thing. Um, Jay Z, of course, straight 90s. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's still moving. So everybody who basically still was able to prosper 
from the 90s and come still come into here and, and do a little something, those are the ones I still listen to daily. I still even play um, Diddy and stuff. And my, my iPod playlist, mm -hmm. my Apple Music, it got new, but I still got a lot of the old stuff that I grew up with and I still listen to it to this day. So getting on to your playlist, who is Don Mula cranking consistently? Right now, consistently, I am cranking um, Don Q, Dave okay. East, okay. Fab. Um, now and again, I go to Meek Mill, but it's going to sound funny right now. Cardi B is killing it, and <laughs> y'all going to see in my recents, like a body at Cardi joint or Bodak Yellow is there, man, or something. So I'll I be playing that, especially if she on motorsport and stuff. Um, okay. I'm, that's like my rotation right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. All right, so to end it. We let you do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Give the people some of what they feel. Just go, you know, just go off, man. Alright. If I'm, I'm giving everybody a little something. So, look, these friends be temporary like these bullets do. First they playing in your favor, then they try to bury you. Yeah, them niggas plotting on the corner when they stare at you. Before Drake in the skyscrape, we had the terrace view. Seventh floor, Broadway. Don't forget that 40th. Home of that 40 clip. They had the name of 40 Smith. Used to shoot at will like Carson on the floor and shit. But balling was light. So then the niggas started scoring shit. First pair of Gucci. G, my got him up in eighth grade. Had to skip the bait craze. Montclair was my new wave. Mixing fire in the winter. Feeling like I'm just blazed. Shoot game six. Surprised I never had the flu games. Yeah, the Jordan the announced. When niggas try to style on me back in the four or five at the front and in that 23. Now a nigga hotter than Nevada in the summer heat. Got these bitches smiling like they snorted up a quarter key. Give me all the bitches and stilettos always fishing. Trying to find them a man by paying general remission. And one that you could catch up in your section all night with a dress tight. Trying to catch the plumber, roar pipe. See, look, they indecisive about the one that I'ma give it to. Yeah, you see they choosing cause they see your boy wrist is blue. Water in his coat is form. They see the ice on my arm. These bitches lucky. If they bite on the charm Fendi on my feet Is me keeping it calm But she love it when I put on Vuitton All my shit is Saddam Hussein Maserati in the coupe lane All white interior Surrounded by that true cane Yeah, like we used to be on the block The custom mugger or the soul for the rock Either way they would cop And we would sit up on the benches and watch Let a nigga try the front He get popped And then we take on his watch Yeah, these bitches get real sneaky If you ask me Put him in the Uber We put him in the back seat Last week I had to catch a bitch Acting mad sneaky now she kind of still a stat. Damn, bitch, you mad cheap. Look, come on, man. You know, <laughs> you know what it is, man. I can't. I can't. You know what no it more, is, man. man. And the buzzer sound. You know what time it is. It's overtime. Yeah, I gotta go get that, man. Ozzy, um, one of my hot just right now. Okay. Rich on Apple Music. All you gotta put in is Don Mula, man. Same thing on Spinrilla. I'm there, so yeah. projects coming soon. More yeah, bars coming soon. I appreciate my man D. You know it. You know, give me that. We out, man. It's overtime, man. You know what happens when that buzzer sound. Mind you.